Standing in front of the charred ruins of last week's fire, there is a distinct odor in the air. And after a meeting between State Representative Brooks Landgraft, Ector County Commissioner Mike Gardner, and the Texas Commission of Environmental Equality, all focus now is on cleaning up this site. We just want to get people back to where they were before the fire. And, uh, it, and so far, it looks like everybody's working in that direction, and I, I sincerely hope that continues to be the case. Now we're at the point where we're trying to uh, find out what the cleanup looks like and what uh, the remediation plan looks like. And uh, because this is something that we've not dealt with, you know, in the county as far as I've been, uh, been involved in. Landgraf says that the air and water quality have been impacted. This is especially important considering residents in the area rely on well water. Really the biggest uh, issues that we're seeing have to do with the air quality immediately in the vicinity of the site. Just because the residue of chemicals are still on the site, that's getting into the air. Uh, we're seeing seepage uh, of uh, the residue from the fire uh, getting down into the groundwater supply. And so when groundwater is contaminated, they're getting contaminated water in their houses. As for cleaning up the area, we've been told that the owners of Permian Basin containers are taking responsibility in restoring the property. They're also working with TCEQ to get remediation done as soon as possible. That was one of the questions that, that I had for TCEQ. I, you know, I, I said, what, at what point do y'all step in? And, and he, he said, Commissioner, as long as they're being cooperative and they're doing things in a timely manner, then we're going to oversee what's going on and, and oversee the cleanup, make sure things are getting done like it's supposed to. During this investigation, the TCEQ has been using technology that does measure gas levels and detects where it's located. Right now, the commission says that it is at a safe level. Reporting in Odessa, Jesse Zaragoza, ABC, Big 2 News.